What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and in this video I want to show you the brand new soon to be released I think shipping sometime in June but the brand new Iceco JP50 in the new Pro Series. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the Moore Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware, they have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I have been using ISCO's uh, VL75 Dual Zone in their Pro Series for quite some time, and I absolutely love their Pro Series fridges. Um, what sets them apart is, first of all, I think a, a really nice looking design, uh, plastic on the bottom, metal finish up here, which actually serves a purpose, and I'll get into that in a minute. One of the things that really makes the Pro Series fridges so nice is the lids obviously it can open from the front but all the pro series lids can open from both sides or if you need to for quick access or just you know dumping a bunch of stuff in there to get ready for your trip um, the lid just very easily comes off and I can tell you after using the VL75 Pro Series for so long, it's actually a very handy feature because there's a lot of times I'll pull that out, I'll be cooking, I'll get it from this side or I'll go around that side to access drinks or something real quick. So I was kind of thinking about the use case for this fridge, you know, since it's a front to back style, not a side to side style like the, like the VL75 Pro is. Um, I think if, you know, putting this in the back of my wife's Wrangler, Obviously, open the tailgate. Need to get uh, need to get in there for food, drinks, whatever. Open it from here. But let's say you've got uh, you know, let's say you're in the back and want to reach something from the back seat. Maybe you've got kids in the back seat and they want to grab a water bottle real quick. Well, all they've got to do is reach over the back seat and lift up this side for easy access instead of having to you know get out to gain access to it or climb way over and lift up from here and reach in. Uh, I just really love the the lids that open from both sides. It really does come in handy and it does make a big difference on our trips. Let's go through the specs of this fridge real quick. It is a 50 liter single zone fridge. It does have a, a very nice large compartment on the inside. It is quite deep. This is a very vertical fridge. Um, it has a nice basket that you can you know take inside Fill this with your food, bring it back outside, or if you need to access your food real quick, yeah, it, it's really handy for loading and unloading. And then it's got another smaller compartment over behind that one that's that's great for vegetables and, and that sort of thing. One cool thing that this has up its sleeve, and I don't know if this is going to be a new trend in the fridge market or not, um, but it actually has a UV sterilizing light on the inside. But as soon as you close the lid, the UV light comes on and does whatever magic uv light does to bacteria and stuff you don't want in there so anyway it, it's a it's a feature that it has it, it's not a feature that i've ever thought man wouldn't it be great if a fridge had a uv sterilizing light in there but you know i mean we're in post covid days so i guess that's a thing now uh, but you can turn it on and off i don't there's not really any benefit to turning it on or off i just leave mine on um, like any fridge, it's got uh, three different voltage cutoff levels. Uh, it's got a high, medium, and low. So depending on your battery and what voltage you want to, you know, keep your starter battery safe at, you can set it to high, medium, and low. It's got um, an eco mode and a max mode. So if you've got this plugged into the wall outlet at home, keep it on max mode. Just you know, cools it down super fast. If you're running it in your vehicle, switch it over to eco mode. Really does its best to, to be energy efficient, conserve battery usage, that sort of thing. Um, very standard things on just about any fridge. It will go down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. So you can very easily use this as a freezer, backup freezer for home purposes. I mean, we've actually done that quite a bit, bought, you know, a lot of meat or something like that, need to freeze it, don't have room in our, the fridge inside our house. So we'll actually, you know, that, that, that's what we'll use 
our extra fridges for. Um, they, they come in really handy for that. One thing you may notice on the JP50 Pro Series is it's got wheels on the back, which it, at first seems a little gimmicky. You know, you, you've got a fridge, it's tied to your vehicle for power. Maybe you're lugging around a power station with it. Um, but Isco has done something really, really cool with the JP50 Pro Series line. And I mentioned them earlier that this right here was a metal finish. And that is because, you know, it lets magnets stick to it. I do not have this for this review, but Isco actually makes a 250 watt hour battery pack with a magnet on one side that is designed to stick on this and lets you take this away from your vehicle. So say you're spending a day at the lake, say you're spending a day at the beach, grab your JP50 Pro, put the 250 watt hour battery pack on it, plug it into that because it's got a 12 volt cigarette style lighter outlet on that little battery pack. And it's got a handy dandy little handle here, the wheels, you can wheel it to wherever you need to go, which is really handy for picnics, you know, days at the beach, lake, that sort of thing, uh, so that you can take your fridge to the picnic table, take it, you know, out on the dock, whatever. Um, I, I think it's a really handy feature. I wish I had the battery pack to test because I, I, I think that is what makes the JP Pro Series a, a step above everything else. Yeah, the fit and finish is nice. The dual handles for the lid is nice. Um, but I think it's that battery pack that really sets it apart. And so uh, getting one of those battery packs is very high on my list. And I want to test that out. Um, you know, and you may be wondering, well, you know, how long does a 250 watt hour battery pack last? And that's a good question. It's a question that I want to know. But as with every fridge that I test, um, I put two two liter bottles of water inside, set it to 34 degrees and you know have it running in my house and i connect it to a 500 watt hour power station in this case it's a blue eddy eb55 just to see how long it will last like what's the max run time that i can get out of a fridge running off a power station of you know 500 watt hours and in this case it lasted 45 hours and 15 minutes so almost two full days Kind of my benchmark for that is our Dometic CFX 355IM. It's a 55 liter fridge. That one ran for 47 hours and 15 minutes. So two hours longer for five extra liters on that Dometic. So I think that's uh, you know very much on par with what I would expect with a 50 liter fridge running off a power station. So if a 500 watt hour power station will power this for 45 hours, half that, a 250 watt hour power, you know, power bank, should definitely get you you know a full afternoon a full night let's say you know you're out on an overlanding trip you want to protect your starter battery so you unplug it normally you might plug, plug it into a bigger power station but with isco's um, little 250 watt hour power station that magnetically attaches to this uh, you can count on that will get you overnight then unplug it plug it into your vehicle and off you go on your you know your trip again um, so I think that is incredibly useful and like I said, I, I can't wait to test it. With the JP50, you, uh, you get your power cord, of course, your, your 12 volt. I've currently got mine plugged into the back of the Gladiator. You've got your uh, AC brick adapter thing here. I, my only gripe about Isco, and it's, it's a very small gripe, is that they don't give you a separate AC cord. For, for plugging in, they, they give you this little adapter. So you plug the DC portion into this and then plug it into the wall. I mean, it works. I think it would just be a little bit nicer to have a second, um, yeah, an, an actual power cord that, that plugged in and you weren't using the adapter. But uh, it's a very small gripe and so far I've never had an issue with them. Uh, of course you get a you know handy dandy little, little manual, which works pretty good. I mean, it, it has all the necessary information and you get this insulation kit, um, which insulates and protects your fridge. So I'm going to take a minute and put this thing on because I haven't had this on yet and just see, see what it looks like. Huh. 
it appears that the insulation protective cover is universal they also make this in a smaller jp40 pro which is a 40 liter fridge and looks like uh this cinches up so that it, it shrinks down a little bit to fit the jp40 which is uh that's cool but yeah that looks uh looks really nice let me plug this back in So yeah, I think that uh, that looks really nice. It gives you a handy dandy little pocket here for, you know, to keep your power cord, keep your manual. I bet the little battery pack fits in here as well. Ah, there. And then let's see, to access the fridge itself unzip that and then you can access the fridge I wish there was a way to have the protective cover on and be able to open the fridge like a separate cover that attaches to the lid you know that sort of thing um, because having to unzip this is a little extra step um, it's not that big of a deal but uh, it would be it would be handier if the insulation cover could be if you could open the lid with the, with the cover you know fully on uh, it does give you access to the handle obviously the wheels are exposed you've got uh, everything everything there that uh, you need access to so um it, it's a it's a nice looking cover uh, no complaints there other than you know having to uh, unzip this you know because if this is maybe in the back of your jeep that's going to be kind of a pain to to do or maybe you just i don't know you can't just take this off i don't know i, I don't know that i would necessarily use the cover it, it does protect it somewhat um but uh yeah, I, I don't know that I would necessarily use this because having to unzip it every time you want to get in it, that's, that would be a pain. So, uh, cover's nice. I, I wouldn't use it. Um, but it's free. So, there you go. One other thing that I love about Ice Coast Pro Series line is they do give you outlets in both the front and the rear so depending on your situation if you you know need the cord in the back to get to wherever your 12 volt outlet is or whatever uh, you can if you need to move it up to the front because you like to have it uh, here for access to something you can pick which side of the fridge you want to put it on which i think is incredibly handy and one thing i've noticed in testing this thing the compressor in this is really really quiet I mean, there's been sometimes I've checked it on it just to make sure that it was still working because I, I never, I very rarely heard the compressor cycle on and off. Uh, and it's just a very quiet compressor. It is like uh, all Ice Coast fridges. It is a Seacop or Danfoss compressor, which is very high quality. It does come with a five-year warranty on that compressor, which puts Ice Co, you know, up into the top tier as far as compressors goes but their price point is more, you know, in the middle between budget fridge and really high-end fridge. So I, I've said it in every Iceco video I've done. I think Iceco really hits that sweet spot between, you know, affordable budget fridge, but has a lot of the quality and, you know, compressors and that sort of thing of the higher end fridges. So I, I think it fits very well, it fills that niche right in the middle and uh, is definitely one of my favorite brands. And one handy thing that they included with the lid is the fact that now it's got an alert. So if you, so if you don't close the lid all the way, maybe you, you know, accidentally leave it latched up like that is, um, it will detect that the lid is not closed all the way and it will start beeping at you to alert you and even change the, the screen to display the fact that your lid is open and you need to, you need to fix that. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's see. 
just how long that takes. I don't see any sensors detecting if the lid is open or not. So I don't know if it's a temperature change thing that happens. Um, if it notices the temperature, oh, there it goes. So it's got a little handy dandy display here saying that the lid is open and it's, it's beeping at me. That's a nice feature. I've never, never had a fridge or seen a fridge that does that. There you go. And now it knows that the lid is back on. So let's talk price. Like I said, Iceco fits kind of in that middle ground. It's not necessarily a budget fridge, but it's also not that the premium price of the higher end brands. This one, um, being that they are, are doing pre-orders right now on Indiegogo, it's going to list for $6.99. Um, and I think it's going to come with the, um, with the insulation kit and, you know, and all that. So it's going to list for $6.99. Right now, if you get in on the pre-orders, you can get it for $4.99. $200 off, that's a heck of a deal. And if you buy the 250 watt hour battery pack to go with it as kind of a bundle, you can get that for 648. So another 150 bucks for the 250 watt hour battery pack. That's a heck of a deal. I think these are gonna start shipping in June. I really like it. I, I think this fridge may be the go-to fridge for my wife's Wrangler. Um, and in fact, I want to see how well it fits. Well, what do you think? I, I, I think it fits perfect in the back of the Wrangler. I, for this case, I actually like how narrow this is because it gives a little bit extra storage space over here. I mean, we've got these cargo bags over here, so I can't push it all the way to the side, but I, I like this. I mean, we've got the table here and you know, we do have easy access to all the stuff. Uh, I, I like it. I think uh, I think this may be Kara's new go-to for her for her Wrangler. Now, now she's obviously going to have to approve that, but uh, I like it, and it, it fits just perfect. I'm going to leave this up so you can see. But with that pushed all the way back, um, it it fits in there just right. And we do have this table, which obviously is taking up space, and it fits right there so um yeah the isco jp50 pro series i like it a lot uh, i like it a whole lot uh, check out the link in the description uh, that's the link to isco's indiegogo page where you can pre-order this um, get the battery pack that i recommend get the battery pack i think that's what's going to set this thing apart from anything else. So even though I haven't tested it, I think it's gonna be fantastic. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. I love, I love Iceco's new Pro Series of fridges and just think they're fantastic. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you like the content that we're putting out, uh, the, the gear reviews, the, the how-tos, the trip videos that we do, uh, take a look at our Patreon. Link is in the description and consider supporting us in a tangible way. That uh, really makes a difference on, on the things that we can do and the videos that we can make, the trips that we can take, that sort of thing. So we really, really, really appreciate uh, our patrons and, and their support for this channel. Uh, we, we, we couldn't do it without them. And uh, if you're interested in Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, check out longcreekoverland.com. So I'll see you next time. Bye.